everybody, this is Tony with Android Vids, and I wanted to show you a new ROM that I just installed on my Asus Transformer. It is called Codename Android. Got it off of XDA, rocking the latest version, 1.5.5.3. Go ahead and give you the quick rundown. This is an ice cream sandwich based ROM, as you can tell. It's got the good old Galaxy Nexus boot animation there. By default, uh, let's see if I can get that to. There we go. Asus keyboard is not selected. Uh, you want to go in and change this. So, what we will do is go into our keyboard settings. Where are they? Language and input. There it is. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I was in the wrong place. You want to change your default keyboard to the Asus keyboard there. And I'll start off by showing you the installed apps. This is an AOSP ROM, so there's not a whole lot. Um, you got the browser, calculator, calendar, camera, clock, downloads, email, file manager, gallery, Gmail, market, movie studio. News and weather, people, Polaris Office, which was actually cooked in by the developer, search, another search, settings, you got your super user, super user excuse me, for uh, all your root access, doing your dirty work, and let's go in and take a look at the about tablets we've got. Android 4.0.3 Codename Android and I'm just going to run you through all the settings here um, Most of these you've already seen. we got the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth This is a new one in Ice Cream Sandwich. You've got your data usage which is really nice. It keeps track of everything that you've used uh, these are codename Android specific mods over here. We've got interface, which will um, let you change here in the power menu. You can change what you want to show up when you press and hold the power button. Um, for instance, no screenshot there. And now you see your screenshot. I'll go ahead and take one for you. So that's a really nice feature. Um, we've got your notification widget. You can show your power widget. Um, that's on your notification bar here. And that controls your Bluetooth, excuse me, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and volume. Um, you can make it hide whenever you change one. That doesn't appear to be working correctly, but whatever. You can change your indicator color and your widget buttons that you want to display and all that good stuff. Then we've got your performance for your tweaks and overclocking. You can change your processor speed. We've got interactive, on demand, user space, conservative, and performance. 
Um, you can set that to boot whenever your transformer boots up. It will change your CPU settings. We've got profiles over here. Um, this is basically for how you want your notifications to come in um, during different times of the day, I guess. You've got default, home, night, silent, and work. And then we've got the launcher settings. Uh, we're using a CND launcher 1.0 uh, built off of Cyanogen Mods Trebuchet. Auto rotate. You got your drawer settings. Uh, join with apps. Transition effect. You can change it. There's a whole slew of them there. Uh, fade slide pages. Show page indicator, fade indicator, whatnot. And all your home screen options. I won't dig too much into those, but they're there. We got all the sound and display that normally comes with uh, ice cream sandwich. This is pretty nice. It shows you your storage, where all your apps are. Uh, excuse me, where all your storage space is between apps, pictures, audio, downloads, and whatnot. Then we got your battery percentage. And app control there. And like I said, basically all the regular stuff. Accounts and sync, location, security, language and input, backup and reset. But then when you get down in here, we've got some really nice stuff. We've got... Uh, developer options that you'd normally see but this is one that's really cool here root access uh, not sure if you guys have heard about it lately cyanogen mod has been discussing that they wanted to change the way root was um, utilized in their ROMs and make it not necessary to have root uh, basically you can choose when you want root access to be there and how you want it to be applied for here we've got apps only via ADB only and apps and ADB which opens it up completely. Um, root poses a lot of security threats so that's why that they've been trying to implement this and it's really cool to see it's already available in Codename Android. Um, a lot of different developer options and stuff like that that I don't really know because Hey, I just review stuff. And that's really it. We've got uh, full dock support. You can turn your Wi-Fi on and off. Bluetooth. Change your mouse pad there, your touchpad. screenshot from there which is really nice. We'll open up your browser settings and then you've got all the standard music controls right there. They work but I don't have anything installed yet. I just flashed the ROM and I need to get to uh, doing some titanium backups. So that's what I'm going to do now. Thanks for checking this out. If you want to uh, download the ROM for yourself for the original ASUS Transformer, I'll throw a link in the thread. And make sure to check us out again on Android Vids. Peace.